Hey all, Hipper here. So uh, today we're looking at the new Azure Lane New Jersey. So don't forget to like, share, and of course subscribe if you enjoy battleships. So I'm running the New Jersey Azure Lane Commander here. Full grouping build with uh, Cunningham and Yachino. And uh, look at this skill here. Don't you just love it? 15% more damage with Citadel Strikes. Plus New Jersey's base perk which gives you another 5%. So any Citadel you score, you get 20% extra. That's nuts, that's overpowered, that's out of this world, and I think it's ridiculous. But the commander and the ship, they're in the game, and I put these two together, and uh, I think you have the best American battleship in the game. Don't forget to add the spotter, because that'll give you another 10% grouping, as if you needed that. 20 kilometer range, 31 second reload, it's a long reload, but uh, you know, you have to make those uh, salvos count. And I, this ship certainly does. Um, so let's dig into the battle here. And this is actually my second battle in the ship. The first battle was on the same map on the like the right spawn. And I spent the whole match just uh, slogging uh, bow to bow against Mayor of Sheffield. And uh, he was in Missouri. I was in New Jersey. And it was extremely boring and uh, like terrible, really. So uh, at least this battle here was much better. And like I said, it's my second battle. And... Uh, I can already, you know, disclose that I'm quite happy with the ship. It's not uh, as crazy as I thought it would be. It's still, don't get me wrong, it's still really, really good. But uh, I still prefer Yamato over it if I have to choose. Um, but other than that, definitely worth the money if you want to have an overpowered American battleship with an overpowered American battleship commander. And uh, actually, New Jersey, you can throw her on a cruiser if you want to as well. Like, for example, Alaska comes to mind, like a good uh, option. And then uh, the Akatsuki here. My goodness, what is he doing? And uh, this is the reason that uh, we do the way we do in this battle here, because we just have awful destroyers on our team, while the enemies have really good destroyers. But it's still, it was a fun battle, nevertheless. And uh, I value fun over winning. So uh, I guess you can see where this is going. <laughs> now, uh, I do fight tooth and nail for every second in this battle here. And uh, I think it's a really fun battle. And like I said, uh, if you lose a fun battle, so what? Like, it was still fun, wasn't it? So uh, that's about 25% of that Bismarck right there, and that was not a very good salvo, actually. Um, and I'm capping. Notice that, all battleship players. I'm capping right off the bat, and there are destroyers in the game. Yes, but I don't care. Like, there's at the very maximum, there's one destroyer over at this cap here. And really... I can handle that in a battleship. And if you don't think you can handle that in a battleship, may, might I suggest that you play something else then? Because I see so many battleships sitting back, way too scared to even get close to the cap. And I, like, God forbid, if a destroyer is spotted, oh no, then uh, then we'll have to uh, like pretty much just instantly turn around, run away, and show broadside to everybody. Luckily, my destroyer changes his mind and he actually drops down here to spot. Um, I mean, I was fairly certain that this Benson here was going to target me anyway, so I'm just uh, rearranging my ship so I can, you know, point my bow that way. And uh, no one's shooting at this guy here. There are a bunch of ships behind me, and no one seems to be interested in getting a destroyer out of the battle. Um, look at that guy shooting at something else. Like, who cares? Like, <laughs> you have one of two destroyers right there, and he's just prime for the taking now they're kind of figuring it out but it's way too late now he was spotted for like 30 seconds and like if you're gonna play this game can you please have your wits about you uh it's i don't think that's like, a lot to ask for so uh, with a 31 second reload this is obviously not the best destroyer hunting battleship or build but uh, we do get a very nice hit on him there so i got two salvos in on that destroyer there and uh most people over here, I think only one guy got one salvo in. I mean, that is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but that's really, really poor play. So uh, now our lightning dies uh, somewhere. I don't know where he is. So uh, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> so both of our destroyers are down and we are like three and a half minutes into the game. So if this red team has, you know, any sort of, you know, brains, obviously they're going to win this battle here. But like I said, we're not going to give up. We're going to give it uh, like a good shot. Like I said, this is my second uh, battle in the New Jersey. And I'm thinking, well, let's see what it can do. I mean, uh, I, I never give up as such. Because um, you could always be in for a good, fun match like this one here. And uh, 
you know, give it a try. So no Citadel there on the Iowa, a little bit uh, weird. So we just readjust the aim here and uh, give it another shot. Because remember what I said, Citadels is what you want with New Jersey here, because you're going to do 20% extra damage. Get one there, only one though. It's a little bit, not really, that's cheap. Uh, but still, like instead of doing uh, 10,000 damage, you'll be doing uh, 12,000 damage, for example, which is, uh, of course, nothing to, you know, uh, not take into account. And um, remember I told you I have 20 kilometer range on this New Jersey here? So uh, that should allow me to shoot at most enemy ships, even this Tsuya here. He's only at 15 kilometers, uh, so I still have a buffer of more than, well, 5 kilometers. Uh, he's a little bit too far though, and I didn't I didn't expect him to turn there. I thought he was just going to keep going, but uh, you know, you never know if a player is good and actually you know can spot an incoming salvo, or if it's just a noob that'll keep going. And like in this case, actually a good player. So I know that now. Uh, he's not someone that you can just you know uh, shoot like an AI. So at this time, I'm aiming a little bit differently and thinking perhaps he'll turn out again. And then the second. Uh, Selva, we put a little bit in front of him in case. Uh, it actually looks pretty good, this Selva here. I mean, the, the ship is precise. I will give it that. It's very accurate, but uh, he just... RNG says no, and then he also turned a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Like a pretty skilled Tsuya player there. So anyway, we're going to give up on him for a while. Uh, he's too far away now to do anything uh, reliable. So uh, this Bismarck here is much better. He's still a little bit angled, um, but we're going to see if we can't just... Uh, get him from the top down through that uh, turtle back there and uh, it was very close but no cigar so we're uh, losing that lightning early on over on the other flank and of course also our other destroyer whatever that was uh, is obviously well has obviously been a huge problem over there because the reds have just totally overrun that flank and uh, well that's why if you play a destroyer at tier 7 and up uh, just you know just play it properly please so uh, the Bismarck, again, I'm trying to uh, to get him. And again, look, this thing is accurate. It's about as accurate as, uh, as Yamato, I'd say. Um, yeah, probably. And I like that. I mean, I hate missing. And like I said, this is also a full grouping build. Uh, not dispersion, but full grouping build. Because you can add, you know, dispersion inspirations on if you want. Uh, like um, a Shulane Shanhorst and stuff like that. And then here I'm thinking, oh, I've got this Susuya now. And then he goes unspotted. So I only shoot my one turret here because I don't want to waste. Because uh, usually shooting in a situation like that is not going to give you anything good. And uh, yeah, just like I thought. So uh, the problem now, because we don't have any destroyers, like we have to cross this open water to get over to A and B because we have to flip at least one cap or we have to kill all the enemies uh, to win. And, uh, you know, tickets are counting the wrong way. So uh, with only seven minutes to go, now is the time to push. Because if we don't push now, we're going to lose. Because all the Reds have to do is just sit back and wait, really. Because uh, the onus is on us to make a move. If we just sit over here and do like nada, keine, uh, then we're going to lose. And uh, of course, I get it. Yeah, no one wants to cross this big, huge expanse of open water when there's no less than two destroyers out there. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry, but you just have to. Like, if you don't... Uh, you're going to lose and most likely get torped anyway. <laughs> Another thing is that I haven't really had a chance to try out this uh, AP here up close and personal. And uh, that's kind of what I want to do as well. So uh, I will lead by example. I will push. There's like one torpedo. Like, mm, okay. Uh, two torpedoes. Okay. Yes. Anyway, so there must be a destroyer down here somewhere. And then... I'm guessing the other destroyer is just to my right. And uh, of course, right now, I'm a bit worried that he's shooting torpedoes out of that cloud of smoke there. But like I say, um, they're not going to push. So uh, if we don't push, then we're going to lose. So uh, I'm taking the risk. I'm going to be the first like, guinea pig across the open water here. And I'm just hoping that these destroyers here are out of torpedoes because like, I'm a sitting dog doing this here. Uh, I cannot dodge quickly enough in this long, long ship. So uh, luckily, Lock is on my side, and I actually make it over here. And then we find a very nice tier 6. And then obviously, we're going to have to punish him for his uh, insolence. So, uh, just getting uh, 
nothing there. And then one citadel. We almost took like two thirds of his hit points with that one citadel there. So uh, yeah, I mean that, you know, twenty percent extra. It's definitely worth it. And I don't mind the thirty-one second uh, slower reload. It doesn't matter at all. So uh, since I haven't been attacked, and there was a perfect opportunity there, I just missed it. But uh, because I haven't been attacked by the Benson yet, I am fairly certain that he's setting up, uh, and also the smoke is a giveaway, <laughs> that he's setting up a uh, an ambush here around the island. So I'm not going to just kind of barge out here like I see so many battleships do. Uh, if you uh, come around an island like this and you know there's destroyers in the game, like this is a perfect uh, spot to set up a nasty ambush. And... Uh, Especially when there's smoke. I mean, it's a dead giveaway. So I'm going to just head in here and see if uh, I can get someone around to the other side and spot for me. Potentially. Uh, if not, then uh, I'll just have to... Uh, I'll pretty much just have to wait and see. We still have five minutes left. So we can still do this, uh, even if I don't uh, rush ahead. So uh, at least now I've shown the others or the other ship over in sea. Like, yeah, you can do this. And one destroyer spotted here. That's the guy that I was talking about. Benson that no one wanted to shoot at in the beginning of the game and that we are paying for that now. We are paying dearly for that now. So we're finally someone actually gets the guts to fire at the biggest threat on the map. Well, not the biggest threat, but the second biggest threat on the map. And uh, now it's my turn. So Susuya is moving in and uh, he's obviously going to be an easy target for me because he's less than eight kilometers away. And uh, I always forget to use my spotter plane but uh, in this case here i am actually going to use it because I, I don't want to miss i'm probably only going to get one chance here and uh, i need a citadel i need this guy removed uh, because i have to deal with the other new jersey behind him and uh, obviously he's uh he's the real threat here so it all works for my favor this is suya is turning and uh, right now he's thinking uh oh and uh, i also used my uh spotter plane and still uh I don't get a one shot there. It's like, what? So I don't know. It's, it is an accurate ship, but I mean, sometimes ING, they, it's just gonna it's gonna make it harder on you. Nothing you can do about it. So it's New Jersey versus New Jersey, and there's a destroyer in the smoke. And uh, that's the, the uh, Akisuki with only like 1% hit points left. So uh, if you can see, I'm trying to keep my rear turret pointing to the right. Uh, I keep, you know, trying to do that. And I was pretty sure that I was going to get this New Jersey here, but I must have fired just a little bit too early, and uh, unfortunately. So here, I'm trying to keep the right, like the rear turret pointing to the right, uh, because I want to spot the destroyer. But uh, on the other hand, I don't want to get Citadel by this New Jersey here, and I can't really trust that other battleship to take care of him. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to make a choice here. I'm broadside to the destroyer and he's he's doing good damage, but uh, I think it's more important to take out the New Jersey. So uh, I go for that and uh, that is the end of him. And then I was just expecting this last battleship here to rush the smoke uh, because I'm not going to make it to rush the smoke and just get one shell at that destroyer and take off that last 1% uh, hit points there. So uh, that's not going to happen, and I'm still amazed about people when they are faced with defeat, how they still uh, just do anything in their power to stay alive, although it means that they're going to lose the battle. Like, this guy has no option other than one, stay in this cap and then hope he can win on points, or go outside the cap and stop the ship in open water, uh, not even trying to unmask that, is that destroyer. I mean, what, what's the point of that? That's not going to do anything at all. So yeah, sometimes, uh, well, it's not that this guy did bad. He's, uh, he's in the Amati, lots of kills and lots of XP, but that's a weird choice. Anyway, that's the end of the battle here, an unfortunate loss, but we get high caliber, confederate, and you know, I had a pretty good impression of the New Jersey uh, ship and the commander, and I like it. I like it. It's... Uh, it's nowhere near Republic or Marco Polo or Yamato, but it's good. And it might actually make me play American Battleships a little bit more. So I'm just removing the uh, XP bonus here as usual. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the battle and it gave you a little bit of an impression. See you out there.